If you build it, they will come. And Chef Christopher Jeffcoat did just that. My time as a stonemason for the better part of 15 years, I was commissioned over a dozen times to build these in people's backyard. And as an avid home cook, I began to have to teach people how to use them. And he took all of that know-how, traded in his trowel for a pizza peel, and created a restaurant of his own using lots of fire and stone. Set in this tiny spot in Duxbury, Massachusetts, Fire and Stone is a takeout spot specializing in three things. Seafood, burgers, and of course, pizza. But the quality here goes well beyond your average go-to spot. If you don't have time to cook and you don't want to end up at a fast food type of place, you can come here and get the same meal that you're going to get in a fine dining restaurant, in a box, take it with you, go. Christopher and Caitlin Jeffcoat are the couple behind it all, making most of the menu out of those wood-burning ovens. These ovens I built by hand. Everything was custom. It's all brick from the ground up. I love the ovens, first of all, because my husband built them, and I just think it's the coolest thing. We make the dough here. We use a San Marzano sauce. We use a buffalo mozzarella. All the toppings are fresh. It's a spun pizza when it goes in the oven. There's no dial on this oven. There, there's no temperature setting. We, we have to do it all with wood. It cooks the pizza from the bottom and from the top at the same time. The toppings are going to crisp up. It's going to make that leoparding all around the edge of the pizza that you look for in a Neapolitan pizza. And the toppings are downright tasty. There's Sven and Kristoff's creation, topped with caramelized onions, slices of chorizo, and wood-grilled asparagus. And since we're in Duxbury, there's one layered with beautiful fresh shot clams from Island Creek. I grew up in town here. I have a real love for the ocean. It's less than a mile away. It's made with compound butter, extra virgin olive oil base, fresh cut shallots, fresh parsley, little neck clams, that's the key component. We shuck them over the pizza, we fresh slice lemon. We put the lemon slices in the pizza, it goes in the oven and it comes out and I'm told and I agree myself that the best slice is the one with the lemon on it. If you ask Caitlin, her favorite is the spinach, topped with a cheesy spinach dip. So that's spread on the pizza instead of a red sauce and then we top it with pancetta, parmigiano reggiano and it's just absolutely amazing. It's filling, it's creamy, it's a little salty with the pancetta. It's just a all around really unique, really great pizza. You can't find anything like it anywhere. And if you're craving a burger, they've got you covered. Our burger is a flat top burger. It's a half pound burger. It borders on offensively big. We sell just as many burgers as pizza here. There's the mushroom barbecue burger smothered with an Asian style barbecue sauce and topped with tempura fried red onions. And the big koa burger topped with pineapple, crispy pancetta, and cilantro lime aioli. This one's got the sweetness from the pineapple. The cilantro lime aioli has a little back end heat which ties it all together. This burger's awesome. And for something over the top, try the fried pickle burger, piled up with prosciutto, tempura fried pickles, and Cajun lemon pepper sauce. You're going to get the crispiness from the tempura pickles for sure, but it's that Cajun lemon pepper sauce that is the perfect accompaniment to the pickles. Not too much over the beef, but enough difference in textures that makes for a unique burger. Other sandwiches include the Little Koa, a flatbread stuffed with chicken, pineapple, and cilantro lime aioli, or this one called the Noisy Rooster. Noisy Noisy Rooster is a house-made fried chicken sandwich that is a monstrosity. It's a chicken thigh. It's the best piece of chicken. It's deep fried. We have a cabbage, pickle, and jalapeno slaw with some provolone cheese. This is definitely the best fried chicken sandwich anywhere around. And if you prefer your chicken on the bone, order some wings. We pan saute them in the brick ovens. Really going to get a crispy exterior on the wing. They got some good heat. We don't even give you a sauce to go with it. You don't need it. Since they're located but blocks from the Atlantic, you can be sure the seafood is always fresh. And rather than a typical beer batter, they do a tempura fry that's vodka based. You're getting a real crispy exterior, light golden brown as you would expect from a tempura. The inside of the fish is flaky, soft, decadent. And at dessert, that fresh dough makes for a nostalgic end to your meal. We take our pizza dough, we get it going in the fryer, crisp it up, we put confectioner sugar and cinnamon over the top of it with a little butter. It is an awesome comfort food. And while everything is tasty, you can be sure that at Fire and Stone, everything is always fresh, something you don't always find at takeout spots. We take a stance on food. It's farm to table is an expectation at a sit-down restaurant, whereas the takeout industry is so far left behind. There is no standards. There is no 
no expectations that you're going to have all fresh food. We do that here.